prepare and launch business activity statement with zero file. Before starting the launchment process, you must have a valid subscription account with Gov Reports and Zero. Bass reports must be published in Zero ready for import and launchment. From your dashboard, go to My Business. Here you see the list of all the business entities that you have in your account. You can either go to Actions and where the, you see the three horizontal bar, you can click on that. View gives you the overview of, uh, of your, uh, the business profile and from there you can also uh, get access to all the forms as well. Or you can go straight to forms or what I normally like to do is just simply, like I said, um, click on the business entity that you want to work on and that will also take you to the business profile. From here, you can select go to forms, select activity statements, and enter the date range of the reporting period. You can put in the exact reporting period or simply the wider range and Gov reports will list out all the ATO issues activity statement during that requested period. We're going to enter the 1st of the 1st, 2006 to 30th of uh, September 2006. Of course, I, um, as mentioned, GovReport will list out all the activity statements that were issued during that period. And if even if the, the, the activity statement that has already been processed, it will show that it's been processed and of course the um, options to review or do a revisions. If it hasn't been lost, you can see the status here is new and you can then um, select the business activity statements or the, the report that you want to, to work on. In this case, we're going to do the BAS, the first quarter of BAS in 2006. And we're going to select zero. Here you can, can you see you've got a list of uh, options for you to import or how you want to enter the data. We're going to use a zero, so we're going to connect to zero import the file. Now you will need to have your um, username and password for Zero to get access to here but because I've used this, this is not the first time that I've used Zero on this account so it has already remembered my username and password. Now we're ready, we click next you can see here the pre-filling from ATO is uh, on this on this screen. Um, the document ID, the ABN, and reporting dates uh, for the reporting period, and of course the GSD accounting method. Normally, you can't change any of the, these details here. If you believe that the information here are incorrect, you do will need to either either go back to your uh, business profile and make the adjustments on the ABN, or you will need to contact the ATO to make the changes where um, the mentory fields or the the document ID or the reporting period or the GSD accounting method. We click next to review um, the. GST and the FBT and other informations on the report on the BAS reports that were import from from zero. And just go through that, and if nothing changes, uh, you proceed to to lodgement. But if you want to um, make changes, it is suggest it is advisable that recommended that you go will go back to to zero, make the changes, and publish the report. Then import the file again, uh, so that you would have. Uh, matching data from Gov reports and also from zero. I'm assuming that I'm happy with everything. I'll go to the decorations. I'll put in my name. Whoever is doing the reporting, who's doing the lodgement, the preparations um, work, uh, can sign here. And the date. Just two days. Okay, and here when you click next, you will arrive to the save or lodge sections. Um, save as a draft means that you can save all the data, but it will not validate with the ATO. Or you can pre-lodge and that will validate with the ATO, but it will not save the data. Or you can do both by clicking in the third option, save and validate. Um, or save, validate and send for signature if you have GovReport digital signature and you might not be the person who, who, who can sign this document um, to, for lodgement. The previous the declarations you, you would have to do, you would have to sign off but if, if you are not the person who actually sign off um, on this, you can send this off for digital signature. Digital signature is optional and um, optional service from, from GovReports. Um, just check with us if you uh, want to inquire about that. Otherwise, if you want to lodge it, you can click lodge from here. 
and if of course if you want to get a copy of uh, uh, the receipt as soon as you, you lodge it you can also do so as well Now this is the lodgement receipt because it has been sent successfully so you would know that the bus has been finalised and has been sent to the ATO successfully. The time and date that it hit each of the, uh, the ATO and SBR um, uh, database, the time and date and that's for future references if in case of there is an audit.